In the problem 54 divided by 12, we are going to have a remainder, and we are going to review how to express your remainder as a decimal. The first thing that we are going to do is divide 54 by 12 and see what our remainder is. And 12 can be divided into 54 four times for a total of 48. The difference between 54 and 48 is 6. Now at this point, a lot of people want to write 4 remainder 6, but sometimes you are asked to express your answer as a decimal. So what we're going to do is, if you have a remainder and there's no other digits to carry down, you simply add a decimal here, a decimal here, and you write a 0 after your decimal. And then you bring that 0, which is now in the tens place, and drop that down. And now you have the number 60. It's actually 6.0, but to keep it simple, we're going to pretend it's 60. And 12 can be divided into 65 times. And 5 times 12 is exactly 60. So 54 divided by 12 is equal to 4 and 5 tenths, or 4 and a half, if you were to express it as a fraction. Now let's try an example when you have a decimal present in the dividend as well as the divisor. So we're going to take 189 and 1 tenth. And we are going to divide that by 12 and 2 tenths. If you ever have a decimal in your divisor, you must take that decimal and move it all the way to the end of the number, and that will turn that into a whole number. And because we jumped over one place value in the divisor, we must do the same thing with the dividend. So we are going to move this decimal one place value over to the right. Now after moving that decimal over to the right, you immediately move it up to the top. And that's where your decimal is going to remain for your final answer. Now we simply follow the steps to division. 122 can be divided into 189 one time. One group of 122 is 122. So we subtract 122 from 189, and that gives us a difference of 67. The next place value has a 1 in it, so we are going to drop that number 1 straight down. And then we are going to proceed to divide 122 into 671. If you are unsure how many times your divisor can fit into the number shown below, Simply take your divisor and start multiplying it by a single digit, and start with something that's reasonable. Like to me, it looks like 122 can fit into 671 five times. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 5 times 1 is 5 plus that 1 is 6. So 5 groups of 122 gives a product of 610. If I did another group of 122, I can tell that we would go over 700, so 122 does fit in 671 five times, which is 610. The next thing we do is we subtract 610 from 671, and that would give us a difference of 61. Now, if you have a remainder and there's no other digits to bring down, simply add a zero in the next place value, and then drop that straight down and continue your division. Now we must divide 122 into 610. And as you can see from our multiplication over here, we see that five groups of 122 makes exactly 610. So in this place value right here, which is the tens place, we may write the number five. Because five groups of 122, once again, is 610. So 189 and 1 tenth divided by 12 and 2 tenths is equal to 15 and 5 tenths, which is the same thing as 15 and 1 half. In this example, we are going to review what to do when your dividend has a decimal, but your divisor does not have a decimal. So let's set up the problem 75 and 51 hundredths divided by 3 wholes. When there is a decimal only in the dividend, simply take that decimal and write it directly above. The next thing we can do is divide 3 into 7, or we could divide 3 into 75. 
Because I can recognize that 3 can be divided into 75 exactly 25 times, I'm going to write 25 directly above 75, and 3 groups of 25 has a product of 75, so we write that underneath 75. And when we subtract, we get 0. The next thing we do is bring down whatever digit is in the next place value, so we drop this 5 down, and we divide 3 into 5, which can fit in there one time, and 1 times 3 is 3, and the difference of 5 and 3 is 2. We drop this 1 down next to the number 2, and that would give us 21, and 3 can be divided into 21 exactly 7 times. And we can multiply 7 times 3 and write 21 down here, but we know that we're going to have nothing remaining, so this is all the work I really need to show. So the problem 75 and 51 hundredths divided by 3 is a quotient of 25 and 17 hundredths. And if you are ever unsure about your answer, you can simply take your answer, which is 25.17 in this case, and multiply it by your divisor, which is 3, and you should get the dividend that you started with. So let's just check to make sure that we divide it accurately. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we have two place values after our decimal, so the same thing must be true for our answer. So we must write the decimal in this location, so we also have two place values after our decimal. And notice we did get the same dividend that we started with, therefore we must have performed the division correctly.